Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! combat tutorial video, and this time I'm going to show you an appropriate way in this format for you to not play with your opponent, because let's be real. Between pseudo-FTKs and regular FTKs that actually put your opponent's life points to zero, we were never really trying to play Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2019. You know, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a one-player game. There's only really a reason to go to Yu-Gi-Oh! events to socialize with friends, and in the middle of that socialization and exploring new cities, you get sat down and forced to play Yu-Gi-Oh! against someone you don't know, and one of you is about to have your day ruined because you're going to lose another game, another match, what have you, so it's best to just get this out of the way nice and quick. Let's just get it gone, get it done with. Nothing we really want to waste time with. Am I right? So what I'm going to be showing you today is a Rescue Ferret FTK. All you need to perform this FTK is any way for you to summon a Saryuja, and then summon Rescue Ferret. So you need three Link Zones on your field, and then an ability to summon Ferret. Saryuja is the most common way to perform that easily, but Ferret, after you get to Saryuja, is a one-card FTK, but this was not thought up of by me, this was provided to me by a fellow Discord user, who has been someone who I've theoried with in the past on multiple occasions with World Chalice, in the World Chalice Discord, his name is Lucas on Discord, uh, and he's someone that at least is good at coming up with certain different ways to abuse cards, specifically soft ones per turn cards, and uh, that is what we're going to be looking at Today. So basically what I'm going to show you today is a Rescue Ferret FTK. This one card right here, in conjunction with being summoned off Saryuja, can take all 8,000 of your opponent's life points away. You summon Ferret, the game is over. If your opponent can't disrupt you, can't stop what you're doing, the game is over. It does not matter how much life points they have, it is an infinite life point loop. So, literally just any way to make Saryuja or any monster that has three link arrows that open up onto your board so you can ferret for three cards uh, is essentially what you need to do, but usually it's going to be Saryuja, but there is a warrior combo that I can show you in a future video. I might also try and get that video up today or tomorrow, just because we like to spread degeneracy in the Yu-Gi-Oh world. But, so what you're going to do is in this instance, you're just going to go for Saryuja. There are so many cards you can utilize to get to Saryuja, and then there's so many ways for that to make Rescue Ferret Live or Emerging Rescue Rescue Live because you've got Lone Fire for uh, for uh, Scorpio or you've got Scorpio itself into Darling Cobra for Brilliant Fusion, Milling Trick Clown. That burns you for a thousand, summons itself, and that's a Saryuja right there with four names. So you can try to draw into Ferret or Rescue Rescue and then it's live. Then you also have the Venus that I'm showing you here. But so, Infinite Burn Damage Loop. Here we come. You're going to go for that aforementioned Saryuja. And at this point, your opponent's like, oh, this is just some dumb Saryuja spam deck. And to be fair, they are completely right. Uh, but so you're going to use the Saryuja Skull Dread, you're going to draw these cards, and then you're just going to put back whatever cards you need back into your deck for the combo to actually function off this Rescue Ferret. And then you're going to activate Saryuja's effect, specialing Rescue Ferret from your hand, and then the game ends. Well, there's more steps to it than that that I'm about to show you, but the game, at this point, if your opponent doesn't have a hand trap for anything you're doing, the game is over. So... Ban Rescue Ferret, please. People are bitching about Isold and Summon Sorcerers getting free monsters from deck, but, like, uh, have you looked at Rescue Ferret? This card gets three cards from your deck. It can technically get up to four. Uh, anything between level one and six is fair game. Literally, the card pool of what Rescue Ferret can grab is kind of asinine, if you think about it. Uh, but, so what you're going to do is you're going to get these three cards off Ferret in this instance. You're going to get Glow Bulb, Magic Cat, and Blackwing Steam the Cloak, and these are going to be essential to setting up our infinite loop. But so you're going to use Steam the Cloak and Magicat to make Excel Synchron. Steam is going to trigger, and you're going to special a token onto the field. And then you're going to use Excel Synchron's effect, milling the Synchron Carrier that you may have seen in the deck earlier if I scrolled past it. Now, it doesn't matter if you increase your level of Excel Synchron or lower it, because you're just going to link away with it. But you do need Synchron Carrier to be in the grave, because we need a level 2 non-tuner in grave that is a guaranteed card to be there for later, but we'll talk about that when we get to that step. But so, from here, what you're going to do is you're going to link the Glow Bulb into Link Karibo, and then you are going to use the Steam, tributing Saryuja, getting that bitch off the field. He's already served his purpose. The game is over. So then you're going to go into Curious, the Light Sworn Dominion, because you've got Link Karibo, Blackwing, and Excel Synchron. They are all darks with different uh, types. And so your Steam is going to trigger, your Curious is going to trigger, and then you are going to ignore Link Karibo's prompts for the rest of the game. But so, off this Curious, you're going to send Desynchro from your deck to the grave, and then you're going to get your Steam token off to the side where it does not matter. Now, Curious is going to mill some cards, and then from here is where things are going to start getting a little bit crazy. 
So we're going to use Glow Bulb's effect to mill a card, summon it back to the field, and then we're going to synchro into two with one of our steam tokens into this thing, Celestial Double Star Shaman. And what this thing does is when it's synchro summoned, it targets up to four level two non-tuners in your grave and summons them. So uh, we're not going to do it here, but you could summon Shine Balls back if Venus was the play you started with to make the Saryuja. Definitely worth like looking at um, is that it can do that. But so basically... We know these two cards were guaranteed to be there because of Ferret, and those are all we need for the combo anyway, so these are all we're going to get. So we're going to get back the Magic Cat and the Synchron Carrier, and then from here, we are all set to go. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to... We're locked to Synchros for the entire turn, by the way, because when this card is summoned and you use that effect, you can only Synchro from, um, from the extra deck for the rest of the turn. You can't summon Link Monsters or anything else, but that's fine. That's all we need. Infinite Loop, my opponent's life points are gone by the way. So, you're going to sync with this level 2 Synchro Tuner and the Steam Token left over into the uh, Martial Metal Marcher. Tin Musical Battle Mech was a much better card name. But so you're going to use that card's effect and we're going to abuse Steam one more time because it's a tuner, uh, it can be summoned, uh, and it can just do things, right? It can do things. Things! So, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to Synchro Summon TG Hyper Librarian with Steam the Cloak and our Synchron Carrier, leaving the Magic Cat on the field. Our Steam will trigger, giving us another token. And now from here, we're going to basically win the game. Well, we've already won the game, because remember, Ferret resolved, so we won the game. <laughs> and it only requires five uh, five cards in your deck for the Ferret, but like even if you draw uh, Desynchro, it's technically four cards that have to stay in your deck um, for the Ferret play, because you need the Synchron Carrier, the, uh, the Steam, the Glow Bulb, the uh, Magic Cat, and the desynchro, but the desynchro could have just been drawn, so that's perfectly fine uh, for that to be what you're messing with. But I mean, I'll just show the cards on screen. Of literally, these are the bare minimum cards you need to perform this, and it's actually not that many, especially when you look at other FDK decks that people are showing combos for, where it's like you play four cards of this engine, four cards of that engine, four cards of this engine, four cards of that engine, and then it somehow turns into an FDK. Now, this is actually really streamlined. I have to give Lucas credit for that. It's actually pretty streamlined. But so. You're going to Synchro with this level 3 uh, tuner, the 10 Musical Battle Mech, the Martial Metal Marcher, and the Steam Token that's you know been abused several times. How many Steam Tokens have we summoned this turn? Like four? Insane. But you're going to Synchro into Quistron, uh, Quistron Quandax. Your Hyper Librarian draws you a card, but that's honestly irrelevant. You already won the duel. So now you're going to Synchro Qu uh, Quandrax and your Magic Cat into Tempest Magician. Now Tempest Magician's effect is going to gain a counter, and then you're going to draw a card off Hyper Librarian, but then your Magic Cat is going to be chain length 3, no matter which way you slice it, and it's going to put Desynchro on top of your deck. So Desynchro goes on top of your deck, you draw it with Librarian, this gains a counter. And then you're just going to remove the counter from it, burn your opponent for 5, and now you have infinite damage. Because you Desynchro, summon the two things from the grave, and then you just keep going back into the Tempest Magician. Because Magic Cat and Tempest Magician are not hard once per turn effects. So you're just going to do this over and over again. So I'm probably going to speed up the footage until my opponent is dead. See you in just a second.
Alright, thank god. Last desynchro. 16 de- 15? 16? 15. 16 Tempest Magicians, 15 desynchros later. Five real-time minutes of doing this on a Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro client later. I actually turned auto monster placing back on just so I didn't have to click as many times. Uh, and basically, you have won the duel. Congratulations. Now you can obviously discard cards out of your hand at some point to make it go faster because you could gain additional 500 points by discarding cards and that could actually be pretty relevant with cards like Danger Nessie or whatever um, that you could uh, just discard and just recruit another card so that could speed up your uh, your instance of performing this combo just a little bit, right? But basically, that is what we're messing with <laughs> is that Rescue Ferret allows you to set up and facilitate an infinite Tempest Magician loop because Tempest Magician is not a hard once per turn. Uh, ban Tempest Magician Konami, please. I would love for Konami to sit down and ban every single non-hard once per turn card that inflicts damage to the opponent. Every single one. Every single effect that's a non-hard once per turn Get rid of it. We don't need those kinds of things in the game. We've already got enough pseudo FTKs with shit like Gumblar for four to six and with Rongo running around. We don't need to actually have our life points hit actual zero turn one because uh, that's just uh, that is some disrespect. But basically, that is what this combo is uh, for. As I aforementioned, this combo was not created by myself. At least this version of it wasn't. Um, I have a different variant that I'm going to show you in another video, which is playing it in the Dark Warrior deck, essentially, because it's super easy to do it there as well. It takes up some space, but as I've already shown you, the cards you need for this to work, actually not really that much room that they take up in your main deck overall, but the Warrior deck obviously has its uh, detractors as well, and that like you could just draw the combo pieces and not put it back because you're not making Saryuja, but I digress. It is something that is worth showing because it's a video worth making because it essentially doesn't require you to draw Rescue Ferret. So there's something. But anyway, that is going to be it for this video. As I said uh, previously, this combo was thought up by Lucas. So if you want to be mad at someone, be mad at him. Not me. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. No backlash for me. No, no, not, no backlash towards me. He messaged me and said you should post this video just because free content, right? Yeah, right. Exactly. But, basically, I do think this is kind of interesting. I think it's really cool how different FTKs can be formed. Like, the science behind them and, like, the methodology of how they work does fascinate me. Even though I think that they're, like, arguably the worst thing in this game behind Floodgates. <laughs> that I would love to just see gone. But anyway, if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more videos like this and other stuff, I would love to welcome you on board. Links are in the description to my Twitch page where I live stream almost every weekday. If you want to catch those, go there, follow the stream page, and get notified next time I go live, as well as if you want to chat with me and some other people around stuff around Yu-Gi-Oh! or the channel. channel's personal Discord server is in the description down below as well. An invite link there if you want to go join feel free to do so. But other than that, as I've already said, or may have already said, unsure. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I'll see you in the next video.